since we have the biggest star in baseball finally settling into his new team, I can get rid of this hat. I really do like this hat. I'm gonna wear this a lot less often. He's not on the Angels no more. He's on the Dodgers. When you have an international star signing to a big market team like the Dodgers, you're gonna have a recipe for success. We're talking about money. So when he finally signed and everything got released, he has the record for the most sales in 48 hours, passing Messi. It sold out quick. The fact that I was even able to get one, I was pleasantly surprised. So we have the Nike Authentic Run, which is ridiculously priced. I still don't like it, but I got one anyway. The Nike Authentic Runs are priced at $300. $47. So after tax and shipping, you're looking at 400. I had to work so hard for this. It's pretty much as close as you can get to what they wear on the field. Of course, they're gonna get little extra tailored features to their specific liking, but this is the best thing you can get on the market. Since this released in late December and it's early January right now, I wanted to see if there's any changes that they made to the Nike Authentic Run. Cause I know they're doing a little different base models on their Nike replica. And then they added a Nike limited runs, which we'll check out in the future when they get in. But let's see if they made any changes to the authentic run i can't see any changes off the bat you got the tags so far it's looking like the same kind of nike authentic runs from years prior let's go check out the details right here we got the back of the jersey so first impression it looks like it's pretty much the same as years prior first off starting off with the collar you can see the batterman logo for the mlb so this one's like a plastic material and this is going to be stitched down you can see in the light has a little reflective properties to it which looks nice then you got otani so right here single stitched you got twill material number 17 also single stitched nothing changes still feels the same as years prior you can see the la patch down down there same thing as everything else single stitched when we take a look at the jersey base you can see the polyester piece right here and then at the bottom you have a drop tail and you can see how it's more prominent on the ventilation so you can see where it's stitched it changes from this base to this and then on the side you also have that as well so this portion here is on the side to create more airflow and that is the back of the jersey right here we got the front of the jersey and you can see right here you have dodgers across the chest dodgers script twill material single stitched see right there beautiful then you have that continuation of the s that goes right down the bottom then you have the buttons that just run right down the jersey and on the stage left or when you wear it on the right you could see the nike logo it's nice and clean it really pops on a white base of the jersey so that is an embroidered patch that's stitched down then you could see right here the neck label area pretty much standard mlb tags then we go down to the jock tag you can see right here you have this material stitched down mlb authentic collection you see right here number 17 so this is also single stitched cool material nice and clean you can still kind of see the la on the front shoulder as well and that is the front of the jersey and this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey so I'm 5'6", 170 pounds, and I got the size 40, which is their medium. They don't have a size small in the Nike Authentics. I don't know why, but this is the smallest that they go. If you wanna know about Nike MLB jersey sizing, I'll have a video link somewhere up here. If you're on the shorter side like myself, that size 40 is the smallest you can go. It's kind of like your small, medium size mixed in together, but it does run a little long. You can see that drop tail. So when they wear it on the field, of course it's tucked in, but if you're wearing these Nike Authentic for retail, I mean, I don't know anyone, do they, do you guys tuck it in? It's gonna be hanging out like this, so it does run long. When it comes to sizing, it feels like years prior. I don't think anything changed. Not that I could like think of. Patch, still the same. Twill, same. Jock tag, same. You got the patch here, same. The Batterman logo, the same. Drop tail, pretty much just like years prior but pricing it still feels super lightweight so if you wear this in the summer it's gonna feel real breezy pretty much your standard nike authentic but with the updated shohei otani it's still gonna take me some time getting used to seeing him in dodgers blue i mean for the last couple years you've seen him in angels red and see him in an opposite color i mean i think it's still gonna look clean though the only drawback when it comes to nike authentic runs is always 
always gonna be that price tag. 350 to 400 at the end of it. It's, it's kinda crazy. And when I say kinda crazy, I mean really crazy. If price is no issue and you're able to snag one of these, I mean, it's a really nice jersey. If you wanna step down, go with the Nike replica or I wanna check out that Nike limited run that they have for MLB now. We'll see how that turns out, but hey, is Shohei Otani gonna be MVP or will he win a championship this year? Who knows? What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below and thanks again for watching and on to the next video.